Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Educational Gamer and we are playing Free Dynastic Egypt where we're trying to build up our empire. We are currently raiding our neighbors. Uh, we are settling more and more uh, off the region and hoping to build up our economy. Uh, including this little mission down here which does cost uh, us a ton of hammers, 120 uh, supplies per of production um, each turn. But only for three more turns so I hope that we are going to be fine and that our stockpiles are going to be enough. Similarly, our warriors will very soon conduct a raid on the Seth tribe over there, uh, which has about 400 troops. We attack from an ambush, that's great news, just in the beginning, reduced their numbers quite substantially. Now we are flanking them. Just lost 12 uh, warriors, uh, but really, really big improvement over there. We also built the Painted Tomb. Uh, this tomb was the first with internal wall paintings. They depict the solemn procession of boats floating down the river surrounded by scenes from the world of spirits and humans. It was assumed that the owner of the tomb would be an eternal participant in this festival in the realm of the dead. So we should see that that gave us quite a boost over here uh, on this tile and you can sort of see how, how our urban tiles are becoming more and more important for our workers uh, and things are starting to become tilted a little bit towards the uh, city, towards the urban uh, production as opposed to some of the other things. Right, and um, let's directly follow up with a raid down here. It will cost us quite a bit. 240 food. 240 food for 300 hammers. Still, I think that's worthwhile. Um, it does mean we are losing some food supplies now so we should try to deal with that let's first add the build look at the buildings come on uh, that we can buy so alternative route not really imp relevant right now um, multi-story houses I think it's gonna have to be and then ultimately into some more fields yeah I think that's that's probably the best thing that we can do multi-story houses. It, 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 it is losing some production but again this drain over here uh, won't last for too too long and the food situation might also ultimately become a little bit better so let me just note down uh, when the turn was when we raided these guys so I think that's fine two turns so in two turns these guys will finish then we'll be able to produce a little bit more food that should be enough uh, we can also boost a couple of things so firstly plus five percent of everything enemy strength of armies minus ten percent plus ten percent in authority that's useful but I think five percent in everything is a little bit more important also decreases uh, the severity of our food situation. Also we have uh, gotten to the stage of being a prototype, uh, a proto-state. For further development we should taxation, slavery and build a palace of the scorpion. Okay, yeah. I think we can certainly go ahead and try to do that. Ooh, but we are f faced with a draw over here um, and that is pretty severe actually because it does mean we are hardly producing any food anymore. Um, and indeed, I think that might become worse as we're pulling people off the farms over here because suddenly the farms uh, are not that useful anymore uh, to us. This is just a plus four tile now. So I think what we actually might want to do is pull all of these people off. These ones I will keep who are producing culture. On the Egyptian map, this is a plus three. Well, I'm, I'm. Let's pull everyone off over here. Let's pull these guys also off from the raid, uh, so that the food situation isn't quite as as bad. And then we can, while there's a drought, um, use our people to do maybe something else, and go ahead and, I guess, discover a little bit of this area down here, can't we? So, well, there's only a job for one person. Oh, well, let's make sure to. Go ahead and explore as much as we can down here. And I think that's fine. Yeah, and it's only going to be for four turns. So I think very soon uh, we are indeed going to pull some people off from doing that. 
Uh, we have united with the Flaxflower Tribe, so one time boost in people. The Flaxflower Tribe disappears from the map, that's alright. And we are faced with another trial, the Great Draught, where we will need food, hammers and authority. And I think food is probably uh, going to be the one that we are needing the most. That's very unfortunate that just now we are indeed um, facing another crisis in, in that regard. So, yeah, we actually need the food. There's not much we can do to gain more food, though. I mean, well, okay, let's let's get the plus three food tiles being worked upon. I think that should at least be alright. We do have quite a bit of authority. We do have a, a couple of hammers. Even though I, at this point, would really like to get a little bit more. Uh, we could do some cult things and, and try to counteract our uh, this, this effect by praying to the heavenly cow that might actually be the best that we can do what are we building right now just the multi-story workshops new temple of the falcon we need the temple of the scorpions right yeah hmm city walls well none of this would give us immediately more food though so yeah, that's not really an option to to do much. So, what I'm gonna do indeed is pull at least a couple of people off here. So that we can work some of the food tiles. They are not that productive, but if we know that we are facing, uh, gonna be faced with a trial uh, where food is gonna be an issue, um, I think it will pay to, to build up at least a little bit of food. Even though I think we'll probably be uh, having an issue over here. Multi-story houses. Really all up here? I would have hoped. So that's really only the new city uh, that is getting improved by the new houses. I would have hoped that some of the old area would also be improved. Uh, because really this improvement is not that great for us. I mean... Just a two hammer tile really, really isn't that great. Field of grain, yeah, I know that we could build something up here, uh, but I kind of doubt whether that is a good idea. It would be, it would be fairly cheap. So that goes for that. Alternate route. Oh, we can improve the region down here. Yeah, I think that's a very good move though, so. That's plus hammer, two hammers straight away. And some some population cap, even though that's not quite as critical right now. Mm, improve areas, plus five. Multi-story barracks. Ha, huh, well that would be good. More more soldiers would, would be pretty good. Unavailable for construction. Multi-story workshops. Plus, plus three construction over there probably end maybe here probably a very good very good tile improvement god damn it costing 90 this costs 61 so you know what since we all face uh, since we are running into uh, one of these tests uh, I think I would appreciate if we were to do it this way and build the thing that is slightly cheaper and you know what we are gonna pray to not over there so that we are getting a little bit more food yeah we are getting quite a bit more food now so that's that's pretty good actually so you can also work there that's plus three anything else that we can work that's really good plus two plus three yeah, I think plus three is the best that we can do in terms of food. And we might want to do that a little bit more then. Okay, let's go to the map of Egypt. And I'm going to pull one of you off. And one of you off. And you can then go ahead and work on these fields. I'm really worried about these trials. These, these trials have been... Have been, some of them have been really hard to fulfill. 
So yeah, I think like that should be all right though. So let's go ahead. Next turn, we would would be able to get some. Ooh, followers of the god of Seth capture the large lands of the northern chiefs from of Dio Diospolis. The reinforcements of the cult of the sand god and makes our future more disturbing. Wally Hamad. Mission, the unification with Thenis. Okay, we got another mission. The threat of attacks from the followers of Thais is growing and to cope with this we need to unite with someone strong enough to work together to successfully confront these fanatics. Go, join together. Bonus, uh, diplomacy cost for Thenis is going to be reduced tremendously. Okay, so where's Thenis? This is Thenis? Trade locate. Trade efficiency has dropped dramatically, so that probably means that, yeah, these trades up here have become tremendously less impactful. Everyone down there is fine. So, sorry, our mission again is to... Venus. Venus, you are Venus, aren't you? No. Are you Venus? Dumb palm. Chris Venus. Yes, sir. Venus? Oh, come on. Go to you. Wet, wet tribe. Why are they called Venus? Venus, sir. Hmm. No, it does say what with. Okay, never mind. So let's go ahead and let's try to unite. It's actually pretty cheap. Yeah, we should be able to definitely afford that. So yeah, we are going to do that. It's it's going to cost us some production, and the uh, trial did mention something about production, so I'm slightly worried there. Uh, and I think we actually need to probably pull back everyone who's been scouting over here uh, now, so that we can gather more food and all of that. Which should be pretty much alright though. Uh, discoveries, efficiencies... Ooh. We could reduce the cost of diplomacy by 10%. That would have been great. Does it work retroactively? I wonder. Enemy strength would be pretty good as well, but I think we're going to discover sales. And I forgot to remember that number, but uh, it should be alright. So here we go. Let's say plus 5. And I think in our village we don't unfortunately have any more plus three tiles. And plus five I think is alright then. Plus four, but two, two of these are hammers. Plus four. Yeah, that's gonna be alright. So that leaves one person as is. And I actually think probably next turn we want to start another raid if if we have enough food. So yeah, there, there is that situation. And we should also probably think about uniting with these people um, sooner rather than later. Uh, because it appears that these guys are expanding. So yeah, we'll have to see about that. Yeah, this would be costly. Raiding right now, really, honestly, it would be too costly. So yeah, the best that we can do is a general plus three or some culture. Let's do culture. So the draw should have ended the right way one time. Yeah, reduction in ability. Yeah, draw has ended. That's good. Uh, still, we have the blessing of the heavenly cow. So still a lot of these um, fields are are generating quite a bit more than they otherwise would. I'm not sure whether it would make sense to pull you off from over there. So all in all, I think we are fine if we just take it over to the next turn. Should do some building. What was that? The colony in Edifu. Okay, so plus two hammers. Should see that on the world map. Yeah, I think that's this region over there simply. Right. Alternate route. Immunity to trade being blocked on the Nile. Is it that Im important though? I don't think so. 
I think multi-story workshops are opening up a lot more possibilities over here. So yeah, let's go ahead, let's build them. And you will be the one building them. That's nice to see. And in three turns we'll also get more production. Do we want to pray to the Heavenly God ag uh, again? Let's first see what the precise precise issue is going to be. So we should be faced with a trial now, the Great Draw. No! The Invasion of Theth? I thought we could be getting a different thing. Okay. The view is Seth, God of the Desert, invaded the lands of the Horrors. His hot breath turns the land into barren sand and condemns people to thirst and starvation. This violation of the Universal Order requires mobilization of all of our forces to fight the Theth. And here we are. <laughs> At the same time, we do get the Great Draw. Horus was wounded by the first attack of the Seth and needs our help and offerings. We must restore the strength of Horus so we can drive the beast Seth back to the desert from whence he came with his evil. So, the sand buries our land. We are losing 1% of everything per turn. I don't think it's really per turn. I think it's just simply as is. So, what can we do? We can offer food. Strength of horrors is gonna increase. The expenses of this are gonna decrease over time. Uh, we can banish evil, likewise. Or we can burn incense. Okay, so all of these are equally viable. And I think we are gonna wait because it says that the costs are decreasing. So that's 80, 80, 40. Stupid sound effect. I really dislike that. Okay, so there's the Great Rot. We have the mission. The mission is probably going to be fulfilled soon. What's going to happen then? We will get more... more army strength and more cult. And that's probably the... yeah, what we... Scouting duration. Ooh. That's going to be a very important um, technology, I think. So... yeah. Let's simply see what's going to happen next turn. Oh really? The extinction of the elephants, the deple <laughs> depletion of the land has led to a lack of food for the largest animals of the savannah, the elephants, weighing up to 7 tons. We lose 2 food. Very unfortunate. Great draw. And um, so, yeah, that seems to de have decreased by 10%. Can we do this this turn? So I think we need 10 thingies. Uh, we would be able to offer 3 times food. We'd be able to offer, well, three times Spanish Evil, and a lot more, a lot more authority, actually. So that's twice our, per f our food production per turn? It's been a lot of incense. Okay, so the cost of this is going to go up per use, but it's going to decrease over time. Uh, still, I have so much authority to burn over here, um, that I do think this makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so trial passed. We did get a gold victory, uh, which is very important, uh, because the drought has forever changed the Egyptians. Forced to adapt, they become more developed. After many years of drought, <laughs> thank you everyone. The first rain falls. Growth, 50% more culture. That's very, very good. Gold victory, um, so has ended. The losses every turn have removed, have been removed. Uh, and we do get a very, very big boost over there uh, towards our production. So that's extremely good to see. Uh, we can also go ahead and I think conduct some of our raids now. Uh, because indeed we do have enough food. Uh, we should, though, take a short look at our settlement and remove the people who are... Uh, maybe not quite as productive as others. I think a plus four is something that I'm going to accept. A plus three is sort of not. So yeah, everyone over here is fine. We are going to be reunited with the Seth tribe uh, soon. But I do think we can start a raid now uh, on some of these thingies. Because probably we are going to be stronger uh, by next turn. They are invincible. One point... So, still, I think this is 
This is worthwhile. And over here. Okay, so we can't interact with them. We can only interact with the main tribe. And I do think it makes sense to raid them now. And we started that in turn 172. Uh, which should be fine. Uh, we do have some food left over. We are spending some of the production on this tribe. Uh, which is fine, I think. Can could buy a couple of more people to do some exploration. But again, exploration isn't really that bad crucial. So you know what? You'll actually be farmers after all. On a plus three tile. Really could be better, I think. Alright, nevertheless, next turn it is. Building up some things. So, first of all, we are united with him. We get two people. Uh, that's lovely to see. We're also getting workshops. Or was that it? Uh, craftsmen are leaving the old city, some of them go to the other cities and some move to a higher parts of the where working conditions are better. Areas on the border of the desert get less production. Mission completed, uniting with Thenis, we brought our god Horus and Wawet together in Universal Pantheon. Our ability, you know I feel so bad just mocking the name of, of gods, even, even though they are like long dead and, and not used anymore. An ability has been uh, considerably strengthened and has become more powerful than ever. A uh, big, big award in military and we get a new cult. That's lovely to see. Uh, we do get another mission, control of the trade routes. To protect our trade routes, Horus wishes to conquer or unite under his will all the river tribes. Go conquer all or unified all tribes of the Nile River from Nubia to the Mediterranean with the exception of the Seth tribe, Savannah and Desert tribes. Bonus to the efficiency, the efficiency of joining the tribes of the Nile plus 80%. 80% what? I don't know. I don't get that. Okay. And awarding one time bonus to food and production. That's lovely to see. New cult. Yes, I know. Uh, new cult. Yes. And we built multi story workshops. Uh, that's alright. Let's briefly check on all of our guys down here. So I think. You probably are considered bordering the desert. Because I... And you probably are too. So I think your production level has just decreased. Still... Building up an army is, is kind of an important job for us. On the other hand, we are just only getting 12 people over here. And I think we have reached pretty much saturation. Enemy strength reduction. On the other hand, more just more culture, flat out more culture, I think, allows us to do all of these things much quicker. So let's let's have a look at that. Um, so on the world map, we will be taking them over in four turns. Uh, right now, we could do this. Uh, it was cost us a, th a thousand culture. If we wait for this, it's going to take us one turn to wait for that. And then probably about three turns to finish that. So yeah, I think it's it's fine and we will be able to do this before uh, we actually attack over here. And then I'm not entirely sure. Um, we can also look at the buildings. Why are you always scrolling me to the left? Um, I think the alternate route might just be a good thing. Or on the other hand, multi-story barracks. New temple of the falcon. Much more culture, much more authority. Or city walls. You know what? We are sort of stuck in a combat situation over here. So let's build city walls. It's going to be expensive. But I think it's going to be alright. And on our settlement, we do now have a pretty good tile over here. A plus five. Yeah, and this one got a reduction. This one is now at plus four only. I think we can move you over. Yeah, and this is actually... How about over here? It's a pretty good tile, plus seven. Yeah, you're actually much better than the um, than the goat keepers down there. That's a pretty good tile. And yeah, plus five though. This is plus six. We do need the food. We do need the culture and the authority. Plus five. Yeah, well, we need the food. Is really it? Plus five. Plus four. Culture and authority. I mean, it's. N 
No, it's it's pretty good. And you know what? We do have some people over here, so I guess we, we can do is simply do this. Interesting. That's actually plus eight hammers, it appears, just to do the rounding. So, can we make more discoveries? Yeah, we wanted to wait over there. Uh, cults, growth of military or scouting duration minus 50% during, during 10 turns. Pretty good. Um, and we might use that on the world map. Mm, we could go over here. Seven turns. Just try to get rid of these people. But on the other hand, our mission really is to unite everyone on the Nile. By the way, this is a plus four tile. How much would we pay over here? Not that much. Unification in one turn? How about over here? Unification in one turn. Sure, sure. So I'm gonna take that. One turn we can definitely do. Let's hire another one. I want to find out. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to unite over there. Uh, we don't really have enough hammers. But on that note, I can hold off on production for now. Certainly can. How about the fish tribe? You're really, really weak. Attack in one turn. Let's have you then. It's going to take one turn. So, this mission. So, I, I would hope that that applies to everything. Uh, we can actually hire one more person over here. Send you over here to the Cobra tribe. Uh, they are ordinary. And I'm gonna give them a gift. So much is happening with these tribes. Really? Next turn. Many things should be happening. We are attacking the fish tribe with 2,000 people against 100. And we are flanking them. We actually lost one person. Uh, and we are uniting with the Don people. We are uniting with the Lion tribe. And the relations with the Cobra tribe have improved. And we get the greening of the Sahara. And this tribe is no more. Good. Very good. And some interesting interesting fields have been uncovered here. Plus four. Plus ten. This is an excellent field. And so does the effect hold on? Can we unite with them? Yeah, we can unite with them in just a single turn. They're friendly towards us. We could trade. We could recruit over here. We could raid, but I don't think that's really what we want. We want to unite. All of the tribes from Nubia to the Mediterranean. I think that's everyone. I'm not sure whether someone is in here. Well, maybe. Should probably try to explore that. It can only be done by a single person, so... Uh, yeah, that's probably what we want to do. Right. Everything else seems to be fine, so... We should briefly look at the discoveries and think about proto writing. So plus 350, that should go up substantially by only 20. I would have thought more. So that means in three turns, yeah, so in two turns, yeah, we, we should be able to get the other culture boost before we go ahead and do that. And in terms of our settlement, with the boost of the greening of the Sahara, a lot of Fields should have become more viable now. I do see a lot of threes. There is the six down there. Yeah, but really the maximum otherwise it seems to be a three. Uh, this would probably overtax our economy. Yeah, it would. Yeah, 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 yeah. And on the world map, then I do see plus fours. Did we send someone over there? No, we have not yet. So that's definitely what we want to do. Mm. Guessing we can some send someone over here. 
I'm not sure whether you are considered to be on the Nile. Yeah, probably not because that's more expensive. Not sure what about you. No, you're probably not either. So, you, it's not a bad tile. I think for the greening of the Sahara we are going to take that. That should be alright. From the time in Memorial, the Egyptians had always had... Had? Had been... Had always been able to depict what they saw in the form of drawings. These drawings always meant exactly what they depicted. But one day, at the direction of one of the rulers, a system of symbols was invented to keep track of the movement of goods through Egypt. The jackal and bush symbols, for example, for example, were used to represent the names of countries. These were the first hieroglyphs. What? Yeah, and all of these other tiles. You know what? Since they are so good. And since we do have the food available right now, uh, we're going to build a couple of people just to make sure we are using this harvest as, as much as possible. Trade is blockaded, but you know what? That's fine. Taxation, slavery, and the palace of the scorpion is what we need next. But you know what? That has to wait until next time when we're also going to attack the Seth, our arc enemies over there, and try to yeah reduce their strength a little bit and hopefully take them over soon. And yeah, we are potentially going to finish uh, the next quest as well next turn. So, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.